All right, guys, what's happening? I'm starting to do some uh, some chip repairs on the Washburn guitar. Um, we're going to try to see if we can color match this. I'm using the uh, Createx airbrush paint. I have the opaque, which is uh, it's a solid base color. You can't see light through it. Blocks out any light, so it's not transparent. And then we have transparent, which you can see light through it, and you can you can see what we have going on here, where they have the curling of the top here. You can actually see it in the red. Um, since the repair, I started to sand it down. There's multiple layers of of paint and color. So since this is a bottom edge of the guitar, and it seems like it's a solid color, I think I'm going to go with the opaque red but it's not dark enough so being the fool that I am I went on their website it's essentially it's an acrylic paint so I'm going to try to use an acrylic color set and I'm just using this for actual color I'm going to put a little smidge in a little bottle and we're going to try to get this crimson color is more the color that I'm looking for um, this red is close but it's it's not close enough it's not dark enough so the crimson is pretty much what I'm looking for so since I'm only touching up everything that's not kinda of see-through transparent it's more of a solid color so we're going to use this opaque with just a smidge of the crimson reduced with their reducer and see if I can get a darker color out of it um, so like I said the chip was really deep so I've already feathered it out quite a bit I used 400 grit wet dry and I, I actually got you can still feel it a little bit, but I got to feather this out a little further. So we got a really deep chip over here, and we're going to work on that one now. So it is messy. I'm not going to lie. Um, it does make a mess on the tabletop. So what I try to do is here we go. Is I try to lay down a microfiber towel. And you missed it because you suck. It's my son playing his video games. So we have a couple of chips here that's really deep and this one. We're going to work on this one right now. So let's see if we can get this zoomed in. Maybe zoomed in. And um, I might speed up the I might speed up the camera just to uh, show you how we do this or how I'm doing it. Let me get set up a little bit more. I'll put you on pause and I'll bring you right back. All right, so I got some wet dry 400 grit, and I'm going to stop trying to feather back away from the chip and then work my way into the chip. So I'm working from the outside in. Just take your time. You want to try to level all this stuff out.
All right, I'm all sanded out. I took all the uh, took all the bad things and dents. There's some really deep ones in here. This one's still got a little bit of a funk, but I'll take that out on the clear. So we're uh, we got everything. That was a bad one too. It seemed like this dude did not care about this guitar at all. The way it was, the way it was, just like seeming like dropped. So. Uh, it's gonna get a nice home here, hung on a wall at least. So, uh, yeah, we have pretty much everything sanded down. I'm gonna start mixing some paint. Um, I'll be back in a little bit, just gotta set up. And then uh, we're at that point where we can start mixing paint and getting this uh, red back on. We're gonna go with a little bit of this uh, crimson, just a touch. We're gonna reduce it, and then we're gonna add the opaque red. And I'm gonna make a full bottle because I'm going to go around the whole perimeter. I'm not just going to try to blend these little areas. I'm actually going to paint the whole perimeter of the guitar red. It'll be almost like a, a sunburst. So um, that way there'll be no color discrepancy. Not like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be for me. So but we try to we try to do what's right. So I'll bring you back when I'm mixing paint. I'll see you in a bit. Big hands are in the way. Stuff gets messy. It gets messy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, a little light. You know what? I'm just going to take a dab of black. I'm just going to throw a little bit of black in here. Two drops and see how that goes. Yeah, that's darkening up now. Fire truck red. Might add a little bit more dark. I don't think the crimson did anything to tell you the truth. It was an experiment. 
So I just added black to the red. See, that's really, it's gotta be darker. It needs to be darker, more black. Oh yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to take that red and I'm going to try to fog it around the guitar. We'll see how it goes. This is a couple of years old. Definitely opaque, just gotta, I gotta multiple coat it to get the block. Would you agree, Max? Just sit there with your tongue out. Yes? Say he agrees, he has touched. Alright, so I'm gonna hit this with a couple of coats, and then uh, we'll see how it goes, cover twice. We'll bring it back when it's pretty much done. Alright. <laughs> We got all the coverage now. I changed over to transparent red, just fogging it. Um, Okay, I'm going to start laying black on this body. Uh, this is solvent based, so I'm using a respirator glove. The other stuff is water based. Safer.
All right, triple threat. I got some clear that stuff. I got two coats on the black guitar. You know, if you can see the striations and the color variations in the in the Tiesco, that's staying like that. And we're gonna start laying some heavy clear down on all this stuff. Is this a camera hog? Put your ears. Boom. All right, third and final coat. I'm not going to do any more than three coats on this. Um, like I say, I might have to retouch this one up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But this is the third and final coat. That's all, Matt. That's all, buddy.
and it's not a bug party. Stop spraying outside. There's nothing but bugs. I guess it laid down pretty flat. I ate all the bugs. <laughs> So, that was the issue we had. I don't know if it's going to come out. I might be able to buff it out, but... That's what it is. So, triple threat match. More bugs. You see the you see the shade, shading and stuff. I went with it. It is what it is. It's done. All right. So triple threat complete for today. You like it, Max? Touch your ears together. Good boy. I know you would. Who's a good boy? Come here. Alright, this is mine from the second gen guitar. You will be safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and then, we have a little bit of a reassembly. Like I say, I might have to redo this one. This one we're going to start reassembling. I can build the loaded pickguard for this and start putting the pickups and all the uh, potentiometers and all that good stuff. And we'll start wiring that, getting that ready. I got to try to age the pickups a little bit get a little bit of a cream color to them because his guitar they are a little yellow because it's so old so we're going to do something with coffee and see if that works and uh, like i say thanks for watching this is the content we have and uh like i say in the backdrop you see a deck and a pool and all that good stuff that's what i've been busy with uh building stuff so hope everybody uh has a good one stay safe and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, you big crazy dog. <laughs>